You know, of all the places we've been, this is the closest I've felt to something that can work. This whole complex, I mean. They've got gainful employment, a wilderness reserve for fun, an enormous roof over people's heads. Maybe after the dust settles, they could shore up some holes and be an example to the rest of the colony. Here's hoping. We'll talk later. I always wanted to see Eridanos. Sky above, sky below, horizons without end. Thanks for bringing me along, Captain. I'm glad I could take you to see Eridanos. How does it feel? Breathtaking. Have you looked over the edge of the complex yet? Just watch the clouds turning? It's like an ocean without end. It really is something. Eridanos and Olympus are the two biggest planets in Halcyon. King and queen of the sky. Looking out to the horizon, I get this feeling that we're... in the company of royalty. Eridanos is a hundred times the mass of Terra Two, Eight hundred times the volume. Ten times the diameter. We're flying through the tiniest layer of habitable atmosphere. Sometimes I can't believe how small my world used to be. My horizons were about as wide as the walls of Edgewater. And now look at you on top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> We've come a long way. We'll talk later. This is Lover of Ladies. Thank you for tuning in to this week's The Outer Worlds. And I may have found something else. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. So she must have left all of this, which I'm gonna take because, you know, she's not gonna use it. But. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Another one? Mm -hmm. Did I hear something, Captain? Make him! Woo! Oh, shit! Oh, great. I was not expecting any attacks. What? These workers are actually attacking us. What the hell is going on in here? Why are these workers attacking us, bro? Like, we haven't even done anything. Elusive... El wait, elusive host? And they both have smiles on their faces. You know what this reminds me of? Joker from the DC universe when he would attack his victims and then when Batman finds them. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. They die with a biggest grin on their faces. A big sinister grin. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress and these bottles are all over the place like what's going on is that another dead body oh shit this is not good indeed especially since this game is giving me so much armor and uh guns and weapons Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. So she went to this place. Please visit the Purpleberry Nut Hut to purchase an audio tour today. All right. Carter Reynolds. Okay. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Let me talk to this guy, see what he has for me. Hey, God! What are you doing in here? Are you authorized to be in the conservatory? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Are you my ex-wife? No, 
She oh. fell off the side of Eridanos under mysterious circumstances six years ago. I bet you're happy about that. Conveniently rendering our marriage contract null. Mm-hmm. You must be the new uh, groundskeeper? Hmm, that can't be it either, seeing how the new one hasn't died yet. Just who are you? Hmm. That is so cute. Um, uh, well, let me see what options. Um, I'm a freelance captain. I've been hired to investigate Halcyon and Helen's murder. An inspector? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think you'll find any evidence here. Really? Why You're is that? welcome to ask what you want, seeing how I figure you would anyway. Bleeding hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff it gets, bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. Did Halcyon Helen come through here? Indeed. Tromped in and out of the conservatory with no heed for anyone else. Good thing none of my charges were damaged. Starlet or not, I would have had a harsh word for her. I heard she pushed her way into a tour of the RR and DD labs not soon after. She's just a serial actress. Yet she acts like she's deserved of the same access as a co-CEO. Well, she's not going anywhere ever again. Which is a shame, of course. Taken too soon and all. Hmm. You're a botanist, right? What do you do for Rizzo's? I sit inside and I look at plants. Goal is usually to make Rizzo's fruit products hardier and sweeter, but for every success, there are a couple of hundred failures. Example, tried breeding native tripercale with a foreign strain. Would have called it hextacale. In the end, it bred so fast, workers were swallowed up before they could harvest it. That one, I think, can be attributed to the wasp kinos. Some lament their irritability, but their productivity is unmatched. What's a few dead workers in the architect's designs? I'll take your word for it. You'd be the first to. Everyone else just says, I got bark instead of a heart. They just don't understand me. Not like my plants do. Goodbye. Wait. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Ooh. Did you see me? No, okay. I'm going through here. Please visit the Purpleberry Nut Hut to purchase an audio tour today. Okay, so if she went through here... Oh, I see a trail. Hardline discrepancy detected nearby. Wow, this, this thing here is damaged. I wonder why. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Interesting. This is very intriguing. So not only does she go through here countless of times, which means someone certainly must have showed her the way prior. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh. Oh no. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. There's so many people turning up dead, and no one is concerned about that? Like, that's really suspicious to me. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Okay. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Okay, so I see a trail right there, but for some reason I see something over here. So I'm going to check this place out. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yep, I see it. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. So what business did she have? Just walking in like that, like it doesn't make any sense.
Good thing I have enough to pick. So this is... Nothing here. Get out. Parts of this note are illegible due to dirt and crushed purple berry smudges. The writing you can make out is as follows. Helen, I know I told you I'd stumble upon... Sorry, I stumbled onto the scoop of a lifetime. But neither of us could have guessed just how deep this would go. Now some slug from the docks is looking for me, asking a lot of questions. It's time to get out. Do you hear me? Don't waste time packing. Just go. Soon as you read this, you'll know where to meet me. Tonight, 10 p.m. in the Grand Ballroom. If I don't show, take the next ship out of here and don't look back. Huh. So something sinister was happening, and she was supposed to meet someone with the name B. And yet, obviously, neither of them made it. Question is, where is this B person? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Ah! Yo, who, who? Oh, Lord. Do we need to fight them? Look at that person. They're going crazy. What the fuck's going on? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. Oh, fuck me. Oh, we're- I guess we're gonna have to kill them, huh? I'm sorry. Ew. Oh, shit. Oh, my god. This is not what I want. Yo, she's laughing while she's getting shot. Are you an enemy? Okay, thank god. What? Miyoka! Who did this? You bastard. Let's go. No one does that to my girl Miyoka. You little asshole. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, look how much leeches this person has. Oh my god, we're killing innocent people at this point. Everyone doesn't care that there's so much bodies all over the floor. These parasites are just everywhere. This robot's chilling, like... This is not good. Okay, so where would be the next? Ah, this way. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Sublight was here. A lot of them are not alive to tell the tale, clearly. Timeline discrepancy detect- Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. What the hell is this? Oh, oh fuck me. Why would there be a moon monkey here? Oh, there's one- Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, I'm being attacked. I totally forgot my life force is draining out of me. Oh, uh, this is not good. Oh, damn you, you fucking monkeys. This is not good. 
Oh, these moon monkeys are so hard to kill. Deadass. Oh, look at their faces too. Full of anger, bro. Okay, I got one. Drunk? They're drunk? Acting like that? Okay, I got another one. After repeatedly getting beat up by primals, you no longer function well when they attack you or your companions. I'm a whole to reject. I would not want that as a perk. In exchange for that flaw. Okay, so. So. Thank goodness everyone's okay. This is a lot worse than I thought. It's bad enough that the people are attacking us, but now we got fucking apes as well. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Right, right. Look at this. Like, bottles everywhere. Bottles everywhere. Wait, what's that over there? A oh, fucking primal, bro. Oh, lord. All right, I'm sorry. Get him, Nyoka, get him! All right, is that bitch dead? No. All right, let me get out my trusty... What? The shaft of the tossball stick is bent and cracked, exceeding tossball regulation requirements. The end of the tossball wicker detected, embedded within the chunks of dark matter. Wicker is not a known ingredient of the dark matter product. Hmm. Even I would have a difficult time breaking one of these sticks by accident. The only members of a tossball team strong enough to crack a stick into are the dedicated hackers, like Black Hole Birdie. Whatever Ms. Ruth Bellamy must have relayed to the Tossball hacker during their picnic together instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52%. Something went wrong here. I really hope it wasn't the food. Oh, cool. Anger management issues. This is a key card for the results research and development district labs. If you are reading this, warning anywhere other than the rr and dd labs please return it to the rr and dd labs for an only moderate extreme pay deduction and a mild reduction of working fingers i mean i i'm getting free bottles so it's not too bad but still this is very crazy here I mean, this would be a very good romantic place if I had a girlfriend, but otherwise, I don't know. It's like, it's pretty sad how she got attacked around someone who she thought she can trust, but I feel like I want to explore over there, honestly, because something suspicious is going on over there. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis. This discarded canister is typical of the R-mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. This canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning. Use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of Rizzo's agricultural standards. Discrepancy amplifier. Where are these can where are these canisters? Oh, sorry, where are these canisters are usually kept? These canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the Purpleberry Orchards, except for this one, which can be found here. Mm -hmm. Initiate a deeper chemical analysis. Chemical makeup of substance: fifty percent water, fifty percent vinegar. Trace amount.
amounts of woolly cow feces also detected. Oh, fucking yuck. That's so nasty. What the hell? I'm leaving. Okay, so there's no reason for me to stay here any longer, so... We're heading out. Oh no, I just got here, bro. Oh my god. Who the hell? Who? Yo. I'm sorry. You, you hear her? I just want to be a friend! While I kill you at the same time! Yeah, it's bad. It's so bad that we have to kill innocent people who are, like... Under... Not under the influence, but more like their bodies took over without the consent. Miss Helen was at this lab, too. We're close to finding something. I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it too. All right, let's go. Okay, there is no one here. It's all empty. Hmm. Is there anything I can pick up over here? Surprisingly not. I can hear you out there. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacities, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. You'll see me through the glass. Huh. Someone's here. How nice. Let me just steal a few more items. Ugh, don't mind me. Like... Ooh, a gun? I am getting so much stuff here, it's not even funny. Let me take a look at this, though. I I'm curious. Okay, so... Serving the Rizzles family, reception terminal. Name, Miss Ruth Bellamy. Stage name, Halcy and Helen. Lab tour. Okay. Hello, I'm so sorry I haven't had the chance to get your name yet and update the terminal. When you have a moment, could you bring a mop to the lobby? Dr. Blizzum seems to have had a rather rough night and spilled some coffee on the floor. Thank you. What in blessed corporate law is all that commotion down there? I don't believe the rocket fuel combination distillery mixture was scheduled for another week. Could someone please inform me as to what the racket is all about? You better have a damn good reason for interrupting my meeting with the administrator. I expect a full explanation and apology within the next 15 minutes, or people are going to start losing jobs. Alright, let's head on out. Ah, she's over there. Interesting. I don't see anything to pick up, so... How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? You're right. What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. I'm investigating Halcyon Helen's murder. Was she here recently? You do know that Halcyon Helen is a fictional character portrayed by the late actress, Ruth Bellamy, yes? Mm -hmm. One can't be too sure with so many simpletons around in the day-to-day. Regardless, I am not at liberty to divulge such information with non-employees or personnel lacking security clearance level Spectrum Orange. 
Of course, if you were to say, contract your services to me, I suppose I could grant you clearance enough to answer your murder-related questions, Ms. Inspector. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a recent experiment gone awry. Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. Wow, so in order for me to get answers, I need to help her. That is so funny. There isn't anything you can do to help. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I should make myself useful. Clearly. Let me think. Ah, I know. I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab. Perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them. Hmm, that's so cute. Um, I can take care of your problem, but I'll need you to answer some questions afterward. Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. Better than cold-blooded murder. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. Sweet, so let's help with the doctor. Sealed. Oh, um I hate to see it. I don't see anything else suspicious here, so. All right, let's go. I don't see any suspicious stuff here. Okay, the kitchen. Cool. Um, oh, I see one of the employers. Okay. Barry, bar, okay. Damn, they are tweaking. <laughs> what could that have been? Oh, fuck me. No, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I am so sorry. Yep. I'm sorry. I had to kill some people. I, I had to kill some people. It's not my fault. They came at me. There was no way for me to avoid them. So, whatever. Like, the fuck am I supposed to do at this point? Um, is it in here? Ugh. Alright, I feel like I'm in some fucking alien movie. Come here, little thing. Come here. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Ugh. These parasites are just nasty as hell. Okay, that's cool. I mean, yeah, they clearly were experimenting. But I just think that these things here, they're not all that worth doing science projects on. Seriously. It's fucking horrible. Okay, I don't see any clues here, so... I do see some free stuff, however. Nothing wrong with that. Um, let me check out this terminal here. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is a lot to read. I'll probably do that in the next episode, honestly. Um, I do have a feeling that we might end up killing a lot more. I don't see any... Utility terminal. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so. Ah! 
Maybe upstairs? I don't know. Wow, it's practically empty here. There you go. Oh, her little office. Now this... I feel like this is gonna give us plenty of clues. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.